Okay, guys, uh, we just lost 1-0 to Chelsea and uh, tragic, really tragic. Uh, this is actually the third <laughs> video I've done and it just <laughs> keeps crashing. And that's a little bit like the performances of late, isn't it? Um, yeah, I mean, it's just the wheels have actually come off now. Um, and it's just been, it's been looking like it's been going a little bit stale, but now it just looks as though Mourinho's lost the dressing room. The players aren't playing for him. Uh, they're not playing for the badge. There's no leadership. Um, there's no spirit to the team at all. There's no spiritedness. There's no heart to the team. There's no cohesion. It just looks like the players are all just sort of lumped in for the first time. Uh, if you look at Chelsea, they were right on us from the first minute. Um, they were actually moving the ball quicker. They were like, uh, you know, getting into little triangles through the midfield, progressing the ball well. And then when we were trying to progress the ball, it would just end up at the feet of Sissoko or Aurier. And it was a little bit like watching, uh, you know, a dog chase a beach ball down the beach. Just uh, not technical enough. Um, not, not, no guile, no creativity, no cohesion. And it just looked like boys against men. We were chasing shadows since, uh, you know, from the very first minute. And uh, then just typical Eric Dyer with his uh, clumsy, clumsy, whatever he was doing. I don't know. It was like an MMA takedown. Um, typical, you're going to get that from Dyer. I've said this on previous videos. I said, you know, he's going to look good for 89 minutes, but then he's just got a few clangers in him. And that's what he does. He's cost us about 10 points this season alone. But then, you know, typical Dyer looks like probably one of the better defenders after that, one of the better players. And that's what, that's kind of how he hoodwinks a lot of uh, players and probably hoodwinks Mourinho because he looks like one of the better players, one of the better defenders, but then he's got those clangers in him. But I'm not going to scapegoat all on Dyer. I mean, just the whole team is drained of life. It's drained of confidence. You know, there's no order es for ser. There's no to dare is to do about us whatsoever. It looks as though it's like, you know, they're widowing a death. It looks like the family dogs died and um, it looks, you know, you can also compare this to the tail end of the Juan de Ramos era, it has that same kind of feel to it, where you've got these star players on the pitch, but there's just, you know, we're, we're tanking in the league, um, you know, and so I don't know where this goes from now, um, to be honest with you. I mean, I can't see us beating Everton and I don't know where we're going to get this new lease of life from. And if that's the case, then I just, I'm, I'd be worried if I was Jose Mourinho, because we know what... We know how ruthless Daniel Levy can be, but um, if this is going to continue, then maybe you know, can, maybe we need some kind of decisive action like that because I don't know how this is going to be turned around. Because when Kane's not in the side, he's the one that rescues the side. He's the linchpin. He's the sort of the the the, the middle part, the keystone in the bridge. And when he's not playing that position, the whole bridge collapses. And uh, you know, he's been he's been there to rescue us in the part and link it all together. But when he's not there. Man, it just looks, it does look like a complete shambles. So, um, and it's a shame because we've got star players on the pitch, but we just look like, we actually look like one of the worst teams in the league right, right now. And that's uh, to think that we were the top of the league at one point to, you know, the last 10 games, we absolutely collapse. Uh, we do have the cup games and paradoxically, we do tend to do well in the cups when we're bombing in the league. Think 91, think uh, 99 under Graham and then think Juan de Ramos. So there might be a kind of a, you know, a silver lining paradoxically from all this. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look good at the moment. Please leave your comments. Um, you know, what do you think can happen? Can we turn this around? Um, do you think Jose, do you, I mean, do you th I, I think we still need to stick with Drake Jose to the end of the season. If I'm being honest, you have to give him to the end of the season. I know there's going to be a lot of knee jerk comments, but you do let, you do have to let him see it out. Even if we finish mid table, you have to let him see it out in my opinion. But do you think that we should, uh, you know, pull the trigger sooner than that? Do you think we need to bring in a, a manager, put, put an arm around the shoulder and get the players playing again? I can definitely see that argument. But for me, you have to keep him to the end of the season. Please leave your comments in the, in the comments section. My name is John Cooper and I'll see you hopefully in the next video where we can actually have a few more positive things to say. All right. Take care, everyone.